Hello fellow Minecrafters, Gearsoft Studios here. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your wall. However, before I begin, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Now, on to the tutorial. So, we have this wall here. It is 20 by 30 by 1. And we need to choose what side's going to be the front and what side's going to be the back. So, I'm going to make this the front and this the back. So now that we know what side's going to be the front and what side's going to be the back, now we have to find the middle. Use a block that's easy to count, like sea lanterns, and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then on the other side, do the same. Now you can start narrowing down the middle block. And we found the middle. The middle is right here. So we're going to put a gate there. Now for our gate, choose two blocks that mix well with what your wall is made out of. So I've chosen stripped spruce and trap doors of the spruce kind. And now start punching out a hole in the wall to put your gate and then make it change as it gets higher and higher. And then fill in the thing with your logs or whatever block you chose. And then place trapdoors on it. Trapdoors add a lot of detail to build, so don't forget they exist. Now we have a gate, and what we want to do now is give it an edge. Make sure to keep your gate symmetrical because it's going to be the focal point of this gate. Also, don't forget stairs exist. They work good as a block for detailing as well. Now, we have a gate. Now, on the other side of the wall, Repeat what you did on the front. It's pretty easy to do, but you, if you forget what you did, remember, just go around the wall or punch a hole through the wall and see what you did. So, now we have a gate on both sides. An optional thing you can do to spice up your gate is you can put another fancy block above it. I'm going to choose gold, and what you want to do is make a unique shape, and now we have a little gold tower on top of it, which provides a little more character. Now, repeat that on the other side. If your gate looks disproportionately small, what you might want to do is shave down the top of your gate by a couple blocks. If you have a castle or tower behind it, it will allow you to see more of the tower, which will look a lot more pretty. So now we've done that, and the gate looks a bit more in place. The next step is adding little details on the bottom. So go to the side of your gate and start punching out blocks. Then place three blocks. Then tower up a little. And put some stairs. And then place another block. Just provides a bit more detail to your wall. And then do that until you get near the edge. Make sure that you only built them on the front side. If you did it on the back side, promptly remove them. Now what we want to do is fill these up with red terracotta or another kinda dull accent. 
It will provide a bit more detail and character to your wall. As you can see, I filled them up and they look slightly better. Now, in order to make your wall look a bit more secure, try placing down some walls, mini walls to be exact. Also remove any counting blocks that you may have left over. Now, that is done. In order to add a bit more detail to your wall, you might want to add a flag. So, uh, make it at the middle and place down some supports on either side. Place another block. Have something that holds it, such as some logs. Then, start building a flag. Flags are cool. And they can really show whose wall this is, in case you have a lot of walls on your server. Now, we have a little flag. And now, I'm going to build three more off camera. Now that we have three flags, you might want to change the flag holder. So, I'm just going to quickly change the flag holder Now that that's done, we can start making a bridge on top of the wall. So, extend it by two blocks backwards. Now that that's done, increase the height of, a, of the wall by one. And increase the length of this backwards. And now, add railings on the back. Now, we have a bridge on top of the wall. Now, let's decorate the railings of your little bridge. Just have some slabs on top of it every other block. That should do. And do that for the other side. Now you have a little railing that has little style to it. Now that the front is done, it is time to move on to the back side. What you want to do is add support beams in order to hold up the bridge above. So, wherever you have these things, place down an, a spruce log and tower all the way up until it hits the bridge. This is to hold up the bridge. Although in Minecraft you don't need supports, it'll look better. Also, you can punch holes in the wall to make sure that you are building at the right point. Now, I'm going to do the rest off camera. Now, what you want to do is decorate the support beams with some stone bricks. So, place some down. Don't forget, walls exist. They also work pretty well for this. Now can top those walls off with slabs, go up one extra block, and add some stairs. And then repeat that for all the support pillars. Now that you've done that to the bottom of each pillar, do the same thing but upside down. Just follow the same patterns. You can just look down if you need something for reference. And just do it upside down so it looks like it's actually holding it up now that you've done that you should try connecting the bridge a bit more with your support pillars 
You can do that by just replacing all the blocks that comprise of that part of the bridge that I just destroyed and replace them with stairs. It just makes it look a bit more smooth and makes it look like these pillars are doing something. With the back side now done, we are going to make one final change to the front side. So, what you will want to do is if you have the flags within one block of this, you'll probably want to destroy the topmost layer. With that done, let's extend the walkway a little. So, destroy what railing you had on the front, and let's make it protrude a bit more. This provides more walkway on the actual bridge and will make the front side of the castle slash wall a bit prettier. So with that done, we now have a completed wall. This wall can be used for all of your castles, in survival, or for anything you need a giant medieval wall for. However, with the completion of the wall, it is now the end of today's tutorial. If you liked the video, remember, please like and subscribe. If I hit 10 likes on this video, I'll turn this wall into a castle. However, with that, take care. Gearsaw.